This is our first look at Apple's augmented reality glasses. In my hand right now are the Enreal Air who sponsored today's video. But what they show us is the tech that's out right now and also why Apple is betting so much on this as the future of tech. I swear every interview I see with Tim Cook or another executive, they're talking about something totally unrelated and then Tim Cook says something like this. My own view is that augmented reality is the larger of the two, probably by far, because this gives the capability for both of us to sit and be be very present, talking to each other, but also have other things visual for both of us to see. And then I look at the current products and I don't see that. I don't see this grand vision of AR and what Apple's been trying to build out for developers. And I didn't get why they were doing this until I saw this product, which is the Enreal Air. Now, to be clear, this is a fully sponsored video where I'm gonna be talking about these glasses but I'm actually genuinely impressed by these. And for the first time ever, I get it. Like seeing how augmented reality works on these, I get why and how this really is the next step past the iPhone. When you put these glasses on for the first time, it's pretty surreal because it's the first time I had ever seen content overlaid on the real world. I mean, it could be something as simple as a YouTube video that I can now watch on this IMAX size screen that I think is like 200 inches big. Obviously right here in the foreground, you have the content that you're interested in and on the glasses themselves, there's a button that you can turn the brightness up or down. So if you're in a super bright environment, you can turn the display up or if you're somewhere dark and you want it to be a bit more chill you can press the opposite button to make the screen dim just a little bit but of course because this is augmented reality and not virtual you can completely see the environment around you and the context isn't broken like it is with vr it's weird like i can see my kitchen and my microwave where i work and hang out that is still there it's just in the background the dual displays are also really interesting they're made by sony and they're micro oled displays which are 1080p but because of the 46 degree field of view in 49 pixels per degree, it's actually pretty close to a retina level display, which makes it feel extremely real. And these micro OLED displays, by the way, are actually the exact same tech that Apple is rumored to be putting into their own AR VR headset that's launching later this year, which makes that really interesting and is cool to see the resolution, the color, and the quality to get a preview of that so many months early. And to round out the hardware on here, there are even speakers too. I mean, on your face, they genuinely look pretty close to sunglasses to the point where walking past people, I think you could fool them into thinking they were just a pair of sunglasses. They just look unexpectedly good for a pair of AR glasses. I've seen a lot that have cameras on them and they look odd, but these look genuinely natural and are the nicest looking AR glasses that I have touched so far. The Enreal Air are also the world's first AR glasses that have gotten the TUF Rhineland Eye Care certification, meaning that they're giving you that high color performance while also effectively reducing the potential impact of blue light on your eyes. But the most criminally underrated feature feature of these out of everything else is the weight. They're just about 79 grams, which is nothing for the tech that's inside of these because they've offloaded the batteries and they're externally powered by whatever device you're plugged into, which has made these the only wearable I've ever put on my face that don't make me tired or give me a headache or that hurts because they don't weigh anything. Weight has been without question the hardest problem to solve, and the fact that I don't even realize these are on my face is such a good feeling. To actually look at content on the Enreal Air, there's a USB-C port very cleverly hidden in the stem of the frame, and there's a custom cord that ships with it that fits in perfectly, and then you can plug it into any device immediately, like you can plug it into an iPad Pro right away and see the screen mirrored in front of you. And recently, they just added this insane feature for M1 and M2 based MacBooks called Called Nebula for Mac. It's currently in beta, but it allows you to project not just one monitor onto the glasses, but actually three virtual monitors, which allows you to, just using these glasses, draft up a workflow with triple monitors that would normally cost thousands of dollars. Just to try this out, I opened up my editing software in the middle, put that on the first screen, and then over to the right, I moved a notes app where I could type additional thoughts that I had about what I was working on. And then all the way over to the left, I had Safari pulled up so I could browse the web page and cross reference what I was working on. And I'm doing all of that with just glasses on, no real monitors. I've just got my single MacBook and now these giant displays that are also fully customizable. You can change the adjustment of the zoom or the magnification. There's actually an insane amount of customization here. I don't think it took me more than a few seconds to optimize it for my workflow. And the most fun slider was definitely the third one, which allowed you to adjust the angles of the first and third monitors of the side. You could have it super cool and virtual looking, or you could have it more 
natural and stretched out on the left and the right. It was actually really dope. Now to multitask the most, you'll obviously want to run three windows at one time, but you don't have to. You can also run two windows at once to just have side-by-side -side programs that look just like this. Or if you really want to focus in and you just want your screen mirrored from your laptop, you can use it like so. You can see the one screen, get everything done in one place, but in that giant window size with the field of view. And then when you were done, you could just take off the glasses and and no more monitors. You're, you're back in the real world. But at the same time, unlike virtual reality, you're not disconnected from it. You're still in it and you're seeing these monitors on top of your actual laptop screen. Like I'm telling you, I had never experienced this before and I started to get it. I started to get what Apple was talking about. So I put the Unreal Airs back on and decided to play around with this a bit more. Something where I could have a Word doc on my main screen, a game that I'm playing over on the left, and something else completely different on the right. And gaming on here is actually pretty fun. I mean, I know we're talking about a Mac here, so don't entirely freak out on me, but if you do have a couple of light games, you can just throw them up here on a monitor and play them in a giant screen that only you can see. I'm not gonna say it's the most practical thing, but I'm not gonna not say it's the most practical thing because it, it can be. Now, something that I personally do way more than playing games on my Mac is editing videos. So I decided to mess around with Final Cut and really dive deep here using a multiple window setup with the software. And I never really experienced it in this way. My entire life, I've worked off of a single monitor. It's a kind of infinite expansion of my workplace where rather than being so bound to one central location, I've now got it sitting in front of me. And I've never interacted with my work like this. As a creator, I gotta be honest, it was pretty cool to experience this firsthand. The instant plug-in and play of these glasses is super intuitive and it works so good on Mac and iPad, but there's even an adapter that Unreal sells separately so that you can view content on your iPhone as well. It's actually really clever how this works. Unreal made an adapter that takes an HDMI in that fits perfectly with Apple's HDMI to lightning dongle. So you put these two together, plug them into the glasses, and then you've got this portable movie theater of sorts with this IMAX size screen that you can take anywhere. And and just like on the Mac or the iPad, there's absolutely zero latency. Everything is happening in real time because it is mirroring the content of your screen to the glasses. And based on what rumors have said about Apple's AR VR headset, it's actually gonna have an interface similar to the iPhone's home screen. So again, this is something you're getting to see and play with months ahead of when Apple's product is on the market and in a way that Apple's product isn't going to work because it's not AR focused. I guess I'm trying to say this is the first non-Apple product in a couple of years that I've been genuinely impressed by because I kept hearing about this promise that Apple themselves wasn't delivering on. And then I found these and I see the vision. I see where this is going and I see where it's at right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed your first look at what's coming to Apple's Air glasses in the future and the tech that's available right now. The Nreal Air is available on Amazon for 379 bucks. That's available. Link is down below. Also adapters as well if you want to connect it to your iPhone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Nreal for sponsoring. I will catch you all on my next one. Bye-bye.